news at 10. We are here to talk a little bit about what you should do for your summer vacation. We have two interesting places you may want to visit. We have Oslo, Norway and Rome, Italy. First, I'd like to talk about what we are going to be listening about today. Have you ever wondered what it would be like to visit the capital of Norway, Oslo? No. When I think of Norway, I think of Vikings sailing in their ships. But have you ever thought what it would be like to go to Norway and find out about the Vikings and Norway's history? No. What about Norway's culture and traditions or the geography of the land in Norway? No way. Well, I'm planning a trip to Oslo, so you'll also hear about my travel plan. It might help you for future reference. Did you know that um, Italy in the summer is 86 degrees and in winter is 30 degrees? No. And did you know Italy got its name from the ancient Romans? No. Okay, well let's talk about the geography of land, shall we? The geography of Norway is very interesting. It's slightly larger than New Mexico. On Norway there are many small islands. It is rainy in the interior and temperate along the coast coast changed by the North Atlantic current. Italy is bordered by France, Switzerland, and Austria. Nor in Norway, all around Norway, there are small scattered plains. The, co the coastline of Norway is deeply indented by fjords. A fjord is a bay that is long and narrow between two hills. The current issues of the environment are water pollution and acid rain damaging forests and affecting lakes. Let's talk about culture and tradition. The culture of Norway and is happy and joyful. They speak Norwegian. Their religion is evangelical Lutheran. The government is constitutional monarchy and the head of government there is prime minister. To learn the language, you take a class on Norwegian. What would you do to learn your language? What language do they speak in Italy? Italian. Well, for my trip, I depart from Bradley International in Hartford at 10.15 a.m. After switching planes at one airport, I'll arrive at Norway. I'll stay at a hotel, and, and the name of the hotel is Johans, Carl Johans Pratt. I'll take walks at the Ark Selva along the Marker River, and Carl Johan's Gate, which is right by my hotel. Then I'll visit the Vigiland Sculpture Park and go to the Kantiki Museum. Other museums I'll visit are the Munch Museum, the Viking Museum, and the Norsk, Norsk Folk Museum. What will you visit? I will visit the museum and look at nice arts. My total for flight tickets is $862.90. The total for hotels is $161.80 per night. My dad will rent a car and drive it for transportation, which the, to which the cost is $794 for the whole trip. Museums total are $40 the whole trip and you about approximately for $10 a night. For food, it would be $585 for the whole entire trip. So maybe you'll go to decide to go to Oslo, Norway after all. Oslo is the capital of Norway. See you there. We are here for a commercial. We would like to say, please go to Expedia.com for better prices and you won't miss out. Going. Well, we just got back from our vacation, and I just realized how hard it was for us to, to speak a different language when the, a different language is spoken where we are. So I took a little lesson from my friend and learned some Norwegian. What I learned is I know how to say goodbye. It's ador, and ja is yes, bror is bread, and milk is milk. Good dog is hello, and ne is no. Tusen talk is thanks a lot, and un shul is excuse me. Vi so good is you're welcome, and van is water. 
If I were to ask where the milk was, I would say, your air milk. Did you learn any language when you went there? I learned how to speak Italian. Oh, that must have been hard, was it? Yeah. Okay. Well, we just want to say it might be smart for you to learn your language when you visit Italy, Italy, or any place you go for your summer vacation. Thanks for listening.